So Chiari patient symptoms um, can very much range. I mean, the most common is headaches, neck pain, pain in the back of the head, but they can also have numbness and tingling in the arms, the hands, the feet, uh, bladder bowel changes, um, sleep apnea, difficulty with swallowing. So the workup is really individualized for those patients, and I'd say that conservative measures will really depend on their symptoms. But ultimately, before they come to me, I want to make sure that they have tried something, right? So if swallowing is their concern, um, you know, we get a swallow study if they haven't come with one, or if their chief complaint are headaches, I want you to have seen a neurologist to at least trial headache medications so we can really rule out that it's Chiari headaches and not migraines. Um, same with numbness tingling in the arms, right? Is that from um, a cervical spine disease as opposed to Chiari? So really ruling in that this is Chiari and that it's not anything else. And of course, there are overlapping pathologies, but trying to identify what we're going to help to set realistic expectations post-op. And also letting patients know that I can't promise you you're going to go back to, you know, um, age five, maybe when you didn't have symptoms. And not to, you know, we certainly have a lot of PEDS patients five above and below who have symptoms. So maybe that wasn't a fair age, but really trying to isolate what the symptoms are so we can tell them what we think will get better um, and maybe what will stay the same, maybe what's not related to Chiari. Um, same with physical therapy. I wouldn't necessarily prescribe physical therapy or expect a patient to come in having tried physical therapy if their chief complaint is incontinence or if it is headaches, right? So really tailoring the plan to the patient and their symptoms, um, looking at them at a whole to make sure that we're not prolonging um, a potential surgical journey, but making sure that we have crossed our T's and dotted our I's to make sure that surgery is the right decision because ultimately it is brain surgery and it is a big decision.